so we're back in the office and it is January 2nd, 2023. And I'm a bit late to the game, but I finally have some time to make my 2023 vision board. And I decided, since I'm doing this entire journey with you guys on my transformation in 2023, I should probably show you guys how I make my vision board and how you could make one for your own. Now vision boards are typically just collages and if you wanna go the old route, you could probably go to Goodwill, get a bunch of magazines, cut it up with pretty stickers and make your vision board that way. But I'm going the digital route of creating something that will manifest and remind me of every step that I wish to take or that I have to take into becoming basically the embodiment of my vision board. As you guys know, I am messy, desi, and on a budget. So that means that my vision board is not exactly gonna be the same as everyone else's. Though in general, no two vision boards are alike. But just saying, I'm not really trying to be perfect. I just kinda wanna be a little bit closer. And in order to keep myself on track, that's why I'm doing this. Now I am using Canva and I do have Canva Pro, but if you guys wanna use something else, then feel free. So when you go to Canva and you search collage, you're going to have a very large amount of options to choose from. And you'll see that some of these already are vision boards. If I, can, I literally just found so many. Where are they? Hello? There you go. So the, a lot of these are vision boards and they're all very different. Some people want more pictures. Some people want less. Some people have more goals. Some people have less. Find one that appeals to you. And if it really, none of these appeal to you and you find one on like Pinterest or on someone's Instagram and you wanna make it like that, just use Canva and make it like that. You can make it from scratch, there's so many ways. But I did already choose one and it is this one right here. This is what the original looks like. I'm just gonna show you guys. But this is what the original looks like and I haven't changed much. But basically, all I did was change the background black and I removed the hello from vision board and I just moved this up. Now, I've already chose some pictures that I'm going to upload real quick and you'll see that there are a lot of photos in this and I might change that, but I just really liked how this looked almost like a real a film by the same time it's not. Now this woman has very aesthetic photos, but I'm not gonna have that many aesthetic photos and they're not all gonna match because let's be honest, I am extremely all over the place with what I do in my life and this isn't gonna fit me and that is completely fine. Now I'm gonna upload my photos and I will be right back. This is gonna go really fast, but if you see this, I just really downloaded all my photos from Google. I found things that emulated what I wanted to do and it worked out pretty well. You'll see that I actually forgot some things, so I had to go back and find them, but you can use anything you want. It really just matters on whether or not you like it. So the great thing about Canva is that I have once you have all your images uploaded, you guys can see them on the side, you can literally just drop them in. Basically, a vision board is about placing things that will emulate your life, right? For this first picture, I have basically a very messy, almost Victorian lifestyle. And I plan on redoing my office to make it fit all of my different knickknacks and things that are completely random but represent me and I want to do that with my life as well and this picture really called out to me and that's why I'm putting it in. The person really has not much to do about it but you know we're gonna keep them in the photo because why not, right? So I just place that in the top corner and when you go on Canva, if you just click it, it's gonna drop the image in the center, right? but if you take it and you drag it and place it over it'll actually fit it to whatever frame you have if you guys already knew that then i apologize but you know just saying we're gonna go to the bottom and right here i'm going to take this picture of a bunch of youtube play buttons and i'm gonna place them right here now i don't plan on getting monetized but i am going to emulate getting monetized um not exactly a play button but this is just the bigger goal so that way i can kind of manifest it in life if i get it i get it if i don't i don't but the point is that you're not going to be exactly like your mood board or vision board it is just something for you to remind yourself of your goals i'm also putting in this roll of money and i'm going to put this right here just because of the way the color aesthetics work because I do plan on making more and trying to 
really um, set myself up for retirement in the next few years. And I do mean the next few years, but you know, I don't want to ever stop striving for that. Again, I am also working on my health, so I just have a picture of these weights and stuff. Even though I can't exactly work out at the moment because I'm still healing, I do want to remind myself that I am keeping myself active this year because honestly, quarantine really hit hard on my progress. Another thing is skincare, and I'm going to place this right here because I have really worked on getting budget-friendly skincare and really couponing on everything but i just never use all of it and i want to try and have a more extensive skincare routine even if i don't follow it every day and of course i have this little pen for writing because i plan on working on my book this year i also have this picture of a house that i'm gonna place right here because i plan on saving whatever the remainder of my variable income is to be um save for a down deposit on a house and i've talked about this multiple times before but that's why i have that i don't think i'm gonna do it this year i'm definitely not gonna buy it this year but if i do i do if i don't this is just a reminder that that's what we're striving for now i am gonna keep this photo of a plane because i'm actually going to cover this bucket list one with this photo of a plane and travel because i am traveling in the next year um you guys are gonna be like i you just said you were gonna save money i'm actually gonna move this somewhere else um save money then how are you traveling well i'm actually traveling with my family um well it's for a family thing i'm just moving these pictures around um because i kind of have to go and get some stuff done in the old country and i call it the old country but if you guys do not know i am from bangladesh and there's a few things that i have to do now i'm going to change this one right here with this photo and I, the girl has nothing to do with it. Oh, thank God. Okay, so I already copped her head, but this is basically my aesthetic. We're going to take this photo of writing. I'm going to just place it on there instead. And then here, I'm going to take this and place it there. And that way we have a little bit of the green on both sides. Um, basically, I'm graduating this year. I already know I'm going to. It's just a matter of fact of placing it here and making sure that I remind myself that that is something that's happening this year. It is a goal that I am going to achieve. God forbid anything happens, but that is here for me. My color palette and it is a lot of what I want to get done. Now this picture here I am going to move and these two, but I don't know what I'm going to put in them yet. So for now, this is what I have. Now I am going to show you guys if I did not have this and I just had a blank background, I would just go to Canva and I could search up frames. It's going to cover this entire border. So make sure that when you do look for frames, you look with the ones that already have a picture. So like this, and you don't have to, like if you want to work, play around with it, you can. But if you do this one and I was to drop the photo in here, it's like going to drop it into the frame instead of over the frame. Um, but yeah, you could play around with this and I'm just going to download it as is. I probably should have renamed it. I'll rename it later. <laughs> I'll rename it in my files. But that is basically it. Now, I hope that did help you guys in any way, shape, or form. As you guys know, I am also a big planner. So I do have my journal that I will be putting certain goals and printing my vision board and placing inside of. And maybe even doing a plan with me later on just for this. But remember, you can use this however you wish to. And hopefully this helped you guys a little bit in condensing your goals and putting it actually realistically in front of you. And in a way, really just helping you believe that you can do it. Now, if you have any questions, as always, in the comments. And if you like this video, like this video. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> it helps my goal. And if you want to stick around for the rest of this journey, please do subscribe. Because, because I need any more friends. But really, at the end of the day, I'm just like you. And remember that I am not a professional. I'm just the middle child.